Good morning, Dan and Calico. Uh, welcome to lesson number two of this week's home learning. Um, before we get into it, uh, if you just want to pause your video and you can go over the answers from yesterday's worksheet. Thank you. Okay. Right. Let's get into this today. So, lesson five, comparing decimals. Look at our non-negotiables today. Pupils can read decimal numbers and show them using place value blocks. Pupils can compare pairs of, pairs of decimal numbers using place value blocks and identify which is bigger. Those two are the same as um, yesterday's non-negotiables. And pupils can use the greater than and less than symbols um, to indicate numbers that are greater than and less than each other. Um, let's just quickly review that last one. Grab a pen and pa paper. I've got four numbers. Ten, two, two, six. I need to show which number is greater than and less than the other one. Um, could you please do that so we can just practice quickly using the greater than and less than symbols. Okay, so um, for greater than, well, we've got our crocodile and it's 10 is greater than 2, less than the other way. Is less than six. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, today we're comparing decimals again and we're going to look at three different techniques. One that we're quite familiar with, two that we're, you know, getting familiar with, and another one which is really interesting uh, and that I really like actually, um, which we haven't looked at yet. So we're just going to begin up with our first one, and here we're using our place value blocks. Okay. Um, what's the info course question? Which rope is longest? Z the rope that is at 0 0.3 meters, the rope that is 0 0.49 meters, or the rope that is 0 0.275 meters. Now, I think the shortest rope there is the 0 0.3 meter rope because it's got the least digits in it. And I know that three is less than 275. I know that three is less than 49. So I think that the 0 0.3 meter rope because of that is the, the shortest and that the um, 0 0.275 rope is longest. Am I right? Am I not right? Why? Think about that and we'll get into this. Okay, so you're probably thinking, no, 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 Mr. O'Brien, that's wrong. These are decimals, they work in a different way to numbers that are in our ones, hundreds, tens, thousands, um, and you're right, of course. So let's look at which rope is the longest using, first of all, our place value block. Well, I can see here, blue top, his method, he's arranged his place value blocks. You can see here that he's got 0 0.3, which is, as a decimal, 3 tenths. What would that be written in hundreds? Hundredths, sorry. Good. 30. Hundredths. Okay, because we need 10, sorry, 30 long bars to make three flat uh, blocks. Okay, um, so 
I've got that one. What about 0 0.49? Let's write that. Let's change our decimal there to a fraction. 0 0.49. Well, I can see here I've got one, two, three, four tenths, I've got nine hundredths. So I'm not going to write it as a tenth, I'm going to write it as a hundred, as a hundred. Hundredths. Okay. So let's do that last one. This one's a bit bigger. I can see I've got two tenths. I've got seven hundredths. And I've got five thousandths. So I can write that as a tenth. No, I can't write it as a tenth because we've got too many, too many uh, blocks. I can't write it as a hundredth because I've got two. Write a part of a thousand, so two hundred and seventy-five over one thousand. Okay. So we now need to put these in order. We now need to think about which is um, the greatest and which one's smallest. Okay. We're going to do that here below. Well. I know that hundredths are greater than thousandths, so my smallest number is going to be 0 0.275. Let me use my symbol. After that, I know that 30 hundredths are smaller than 49 hundredths. So I'm going to put here 0 0.3. Smaller than 0 0.49. So this is a really visual way of showing um, our decimals. Um, but I think there are some quicker ways, some ways that we can look at where, where we're just using our heads. Um, and we don't need to use blocks. Okay. All right. So let's look at that. Number two, green tops method. What has green top done here? Well, Green Top, interestingly, um, has broken all her numbers down to parts of a thousand. Okay, so she's got her first one here, 0 0.3. She's finding that 0 0.3 as part of a thousand. Can she do that? Is this correct, what she's doing? Well, yes. Because if you think about it, if, we, if you think about our block, I haven't got a picture of it here, our whole block, it's made up of different parts and we can have tenths, hundredths and thousandths. And the tenths are made up of parts of a hundred and the hundreds are made up of parts of a thousand. So we can do that, we can break these numbers down. So you can see here, she's taken 0 0.3, she knows that as a fraction, we can write that as three tenths. Notice that three tenths can be uh, converted to hundredths as thirty hundredths, and that thirty hundredths can be convert converted to thousands as thirty thousandths. Three hundred thousandths. She knows again zero point four nine. You can't convert that to a tenth without breaking it into four parts of a tenth and then nine uh, nine hundredths. But we can go straight into uh, looking at it as part of 100, which is done. 49 hundredths. Then we can look at that as part of 1,000, 490 thousandths. And 0 0.275, well, this is already Thousandth. We've got a, uh, a number has it's a number to two to three sorry uh, decimal places. So 
Um, we know that that is going to be a thousand. So two seven five over equals two hundred and seventy five thousand. Okay. Again, I can just look at this. I can look at my conversions, and I can tell from them um, which value is smallest and which is greatest and which is in the middle. Okay, so again, we can just write 0 0.275 is less than 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 is less than 0 0.49. Okay, it's a bit like code, all these symbols. All right, so those are two um, ways of converting and two ways of comparing decimals that we are familiar with. We looked at changing, uh, converting to hundreds yesterday. Today we've gone to looking at converting to thousands. But there is another way, a really, really, really useful way um, to look at this. And I think this is something I brushed over last week um, when we were talking about um, the sizes of decimals and how the size of a decimal, the, am the amount of um, digits in a decimal doesn't always equate to it being larger than a decimal with less digits. Um, so let's look at, we've got light blue fuzzy brown hairs method. Light blue, blue fuzzy brown hair method. So you'll see here that light, light blue top fuzzy brown hair hasn't even looked at the other numbers. He's put a white bit of paper over them and he's not even looking at them. Why? Well, Green Top has helped us. Green Top says that it does not matter what comes after the digit two. 0 0.2 is always less than 0 0.3. So it doesn't matter if I have 0 0.29 and 0 0.31. The three tenths is larger than the two tenths. So that zero number with 0 0.3 is always going to be larger than 0 0.2. 0 0.4 is always going to be larger than 0 0.3. So Blue Top's method um, means that he doesn't even look at the other digits, he just looks at the digits in the tenths column to find which number is the largest or which number is the smallest. Okay, and we've got here, we've got Yellow Top who's really showing this. He's saying that even 0 0.299, number with three digits, three, uh, sorry, four digits, three digits after the decimal point, even to 0 0.299 is less than 0 0.3 because the 0 point, the three, the three tenths are larger than the two tenths. Okay. So as a really quick, really cheap way of, of trying to find which decimal is, which decimal number is larger than the other one, you can just go straight to those ten, that tenth column and look um, at, at the numbers you have available. That will tell you, okay? So I know looking at this, that any number that begins with zero, that has 0 0.2 is gonna be less than 0 0.3, any number, 0.3 is going to be less than a number with 0 0.4 and on and on and on. Okay. So we're going to do some guided practice now. Um, here we're going to be arranging the numbers from the smallest to the greatest. So just like what we've been doing there, I would like you to use um, some of the methods we've looked at practice this. So um, you could use the converting to thousandths method and you could use the uh, just looking at the first digit method um, or you could practice both. Both of them are very useful ways of comparing um, decimals. So I want you to have a go at these. I'd like you to pause the video and have a go at these um, and then we will run through the answers. Okay, so let's have a look. 
Um, the, the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to use my uh, method of just looking at the first digit. And then the second one, I'm going to do my, I'm going to use my method of converting to um, thousandths. So, A. I'm not even going to look at the last two digits. I'm just going to look at the first one. I need to arrange the numbers from the smallest to the greatest. So my first one is 0 0.9, my next one is 0 0.1, my next one is 0 0.2. But I know that this one is going to be my smallest number because it's got 0 0.1 as the first digit and 0 0.1 is going to be smaller than 0 0.2. So 0 0.129 is 0 0.129 is less than, I'm going to look at my next one, 0 0.2, 0 0.9, well, 0 0.2 is smaller. 0 0.1 is less than 0 0.2. And then I can see that that is, of course, less than 0 0.9, uh, what is it, 0 0.921. So, there we go, I've used that um, third method we looked at there. I've just looked at the first digits and that's helped me find the smallest number and arrange them from smallest to the greatest. Okay, let's change it up a bit. So I want to look at that um, technique of changing to thousands. It takes a bit longer, but is also very useful. So I've got 0 0.6. Zero point six. What does this equal as part of a tenth? Well, that's six tenths. I'm going to convert that now to um, hundredths. So I can divide this by ten. And I'm going to convert that to thousandths. Six hundred. Thousandths. Thousands. Okay. See here, I've got that. And that's showing me the value. Okay, next one. Uh, my next one is 0 0.16. Well, I can't change that to um, tenths without having to partition it. So I'm going to go straight to looking at it as part of a hundred, sixteen hundreds. And I can divide that by ten. And that becomes one hundred and sixty thousandths. Okay. I'm saying divide by ten because it's getting ten times smaller. Remember, this is still representing a decimal. It's not one hundred and sixty thousands. 160,000 parts of a thousand. Parts of, um, a thousand. So uh, I can write that as 160,000. Underline that so I know what value I have. Um, and the last, oh, again, and the last number I have is 0. 716. 0.716. Well, I can't change that to a tenth. I'd have to partition it. And I don't want to change it to a hundredth, because again, I'd have to partition it. But I can look at it as part of 1,000. 716. 1,000. And that equals. 716 thousandths. Now, I've arranged those. I can look at these um, values that I have here, and I can now put them in order and find out um, which one is smallest and which one is greatest. Okay, so you can see here, 160 thousandths. So 0 0.16 is the smallest value. I have. 
also got then 600 thousandths or 716 thousandths. So I know that my 0 0.6 is smaller than a 0 0.716. And I could have looked at the first digits and that would have also told me very quickly, uh, but I just wanted to go through this um, different technique. Okay. So um, for the work this for the work today, uh, I would like you to complete worksheet five page 9 and 10. Uh, there will also be a few more questions um, on that link for you to complete. Okay, thank you very much, Denim and Calico, and have a wonderful day.